right, so I'm going to be working on a little bit of a different table today. I made some homemade coasters and I'm going to try to fill them with some mirror, crushed mirror pieces and some pearl powder. So let's hope these hold up. If not, that's okay. I just uh, am experimenting. So stick with right, me. So today. on let's this try. table, I am trying, I have found some 100% silicone clear caulk. I have two ribbons deep of it so it will they'll still be thin coasters but I'm going to try them this is a silicone mat that um, I believe is for baking well actually it came with um, it came with my resin pouring kit so it should work fine unless they leak underneath so these are actually mirror pieces that you buy for putting inside your uh, resin pieces so we will try this today. Let me mix up my, I'm going to do pearl powder pigment only and then clear in the middle. So let's try that. All right, so for this, for this set of coasters, I'm going to put two thirds of my cup of resin into a little bit larger cup. And I'm going to use a bigger stick with a single scoop of my Pearl X Pearl White Powder pigment, Pigments. Boy, say that 10 times fast. That, that's funny. Now my resin has more bubbles than usual. It was kind of a cooler evening last night. And I did have my windows in my art studio open. So we will see how much we have to fight these bubbles today. All right, so that's about two thirds. Let's put a little bit more. I want them to be white. And the clear is really just for the center, just to push some of the white back out and spread it out so that we will have full view of this beautiful mirrors that are here. Now the thing about these Pearl X powders or any powder pigments is they do fly. So be careful as you Hold them over top of your your projects because they will spread their glitter and pigment colors everywhere. And I mean everywhere. So you will find them in all kinds of places. So I actually run my air cleaner on my art studio heating system overnight usually just to suck up anything like that that's flying in the... It's about similar to three scoops if it was a small cup of resin and smaller sticks. So you got see that beautiful white. Now what I've learned about these Pearl X powders is they do clump up sometimes so you do have to mix them well. So let me finish mixing this and we'll get started. All right, so I'm going to actually start by putting some clear in the center of each one. I'm going to pour it kind of slowly and gently. I do not want these pieces to travel too much. But I do want them to be a little coated with some clear. I'm going to save a little bit of clear for the end. See if I can't do one last push back on my white. If I All right, crossing our fingers that these don't leak. Haven't seen any leaks yet. That's good. Remember, I just squirted this silicone down onto this silicone mat, silicone caulk.
That went a little bit in the middle, didn't it? Oh, here's one. Here's a leaker. We've got a leaker. That's not good. Well, that's not good. All right, well, let me finish the rest of these and we'll try to rescue that one. I think we got a little bit of a leak on this one, too. All right. All right, so these uh, we're going to wait till tomorrow and see how these turn out. I'm going to try to rescue this leak. And we'll be back with you as soon as we see what these look like in the morning. All right, let's see if any of these have survived. It's been 24 hours. This one looks like it might be the one that I can probably get out of here. And the silicone stays. But as you can see, I'm not going to be able to use those again. So this is kind of cute, but I will have to sand the edges. It's very shiny. I might actually want to try this color combination and mirrors in uh, an actual mold. Let's see how we can pull this off. Whoop, losing a stick. It's not so bad, the outside edge. These are going to be kind of cute, actually. A little uneven. This side's not real shiny. But this side is beautiful. All right, so lesson learned. Not so easy to make a mold out of our silicone caulking. Better to just buy it and use the kind that I get that are pre-made. Thanks for watching.